Hello, hello everybody and welcome to a new series. Today we're doing Plants vs. Zombies. And honestly, I should take a picture of my screen right now because this game only goes up to 480p and I'm playing on a 4K monitor, so it is the smallest thing in the world. I can barely see. Good thing I have my glasses on. So let's get into this real quick. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So, I love this game. This is an amazing game. PopCap did an amazing job with this. And so, I'm really excited to be able to play it with you for this next couple of videos. It's not the longest game ever. Uh, it's also not a short game. And so, first over here we're starting out with... Hold on, let me lower the, the music a little bit more. Because on the, on the main menu screen, it was quieter than the, the actual thing so basically the concept of the game is you own a house and you have a varying lawn <laughs> your lawn changes every every so often um, and so apparently zombies uh, want to come and eat your brains and so you need to plant plants and collect Sun to defend yourself from these very scary zombies <coughs> oh, thank you. Bless you. Me. Bless me. And so yeah, it's a simple concept. You're just protecting yourself. You have lawnmowers set up in case a zombie makes it pass through. He makes it through all of your plants. Uh, he'll he'll run over all the zombies in the row. It's it seems simple in concept, and it, it's a simple game. It's not a difficult game, but um, it's. It's it's a lot of fun. It might not sound fun to some people at first, but once you really get into it, um, it does it does get a lot more fun. <laughs> so yeah, I, I read at this beginning first world here. Um, it's kind of like a tutorial, and so you don't really uh, you don't really uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, you don't have the full thing yet. It gradually gets harder. It kind of teaches you how to play the game. You know, typical beginning game stuff. So now, as you can see, we have three rows, um, and zombies will be coming soon. It's level one, two. What, Jack? Please don't distract me, buddy. Okay, there's a zombie coming. You can tell because this thing started having a thing. So let's let's put a guy over here. And then while that guy's recharging, each plant costs a certain amount of sun. So you want to use these sunflowers over here to help you create more sun in a day. And then you can purchase other shooting weapons uh, with the sun that the sunflowers give you. Uh, and that's the gist of the game, really. <laughs> There's a little twist and turns farther in the game, but I'll get into those as we get there. Um... But yeah, right now it's just piece of cake because it's the beginning of the game. And then every fifth level and every tenth level, or every you know, like one five, one ten, um, is like a special level. One five is kind of like a mini game of some sort usually, and one ten is like a final boss that you have to do. Or actually, I don't know. No, I don't know. It just might be another mini game. I don't remember if it's a, a boss of some sort or not. So yeah, very simple. You don't have to do much uh, rapid fire clicking unless you get in a bind, which then you won't be like. Doo -doo -doo. And you want to collect your sun rather quickly because it does disappear actually. Oh. My high mouse sensitivity is not really going to work on this itty bitty screen. Brains. So this is the Game of the Year Edition. I've never played the Game of the Year Edition. So... And now we got a Cherry Bomb! This is a... This is a... What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna make a couple references. Blows up all zombies in an area. So basically it blows up, I think in a 9, like, square radius. Like it blows up... Yeah, so if you place one here, it'd blow up all the zombies around it. Um, 
Anyway, sun's important. You need sunflowers because uh, the sun that falls from the sky isn't enough to power through. Well, it might be on some of these first levels, but on later levels, definitely, it's not uh, that easy. And then, as you can see, each card has a a reload time that uh, it takes for it to reload before you can use it again. Um, a cherry bomb takes a very long time to reload. <laughs> I, I remember that. Come on, I need two more sun. Yeah, I, I should turn down my mouse sensitivity. There we go. Because I have it set to a 4K monitor. And I'm only playing on like an eighth of it. I can't get over how tiny this screen is. I like loaded it up and I was like, really? That's it? That's all I can do? You can't resize the screen either. So. Oh, and here we have... Oh, there's also different types of zombies. I don't know if I mentioned that. So here we have a conehead zombie. He's using a cone for his protection. And he's a little bit harder to knock down. So let's throw another repeater on. Or What are these called? Pea shooter? Another pea shooter. Eventually, they're, I think they're called repeaters. Because there's... There's ones that shoot two instead of one later on in the game. Yeah, see that guy made it real far before he got taken out, as opposed to a regular zombie. So let's put a third one on there. Really get some damage in. Also, I love the music in this game. This game has some wonderful music. Um, Anyway, like I was saying earlier, I will make a lot of references to Nintendo Capri Sun because I watched his uh, play. He's actually the one that got me into this game. I watched his playthrough, and uh, and it really got me into the game. And so I like he called things like a cherry bomb or other temporary items that disappear after you use them once. Um, he called them TSPPs. So there, he, and that stood for a temporary solution to a permanent problem. So that is our first TSPP that we received, the cherry bomb. And as I could remember, it takes a while for it to reload. Okay, so this is the first level where we actually have the whole entire board. I guess it's, I don't know, well, the whole entire lawn, does that work? And I'm sure I'm going to show off what these lawnmowers do somewhere in the Let's Play. So, so I'm not going to purposely lose, um, but you guys will see it eventually somewhere, because it's, uh, it's just bound to happen, how this game could be. There's some, some things that just end up screwing you completely. Uh, so, oh wait, I should be doing something about this guy. Okay, that's fine. I usually like to do two rows of sunflowers and then my artillery in front of it. But in this case, it looks like I'm going to be doing alternating rows between sunflowers and pea shooters. Yeah, I keep, I'm going to call these repeaters because eventually later on in the game, uh, they're called repeaters and they shoot two instead of one. So, that's the, that's the story behind that. <laughs> Ooh, a cone head. I might want to stop him with a walnut. Let's do that. Walnuts stop monsters, and they have to chew through them, and they have quite a bit of durability, so they're very useful. And then later on in the game, you get another version of this, which is even more useful, um, which has more durability and stuff like that, and it's really...
But as you can see, he's chewing through that so much. Eventually, sun is really slow to start at the beginning, but you get more sun the longer you play, and so it's not. Yeah, eventually, not ends up. Oh, I shouldn't have placed that there. It ends up not being a big deal after a point because look, I already have 200, which is too, uh, which is pretty much too much. You don't really need that much. So that's the the cool thing about this game. I'm gonna add them on the bros. I don't have the walnuts. Are they called walnuts? Oops, I didn't mean to place that there. Yeah, I'll place that up there. And then I'll use a cherry bomb down here. Yeah, your cherry bomb, if there's enough monsters, or enough zombies in a group, your cherry bomb can actually get eaten before it blows up. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you gotta be careful where you place it, like, especially like the waves at the end, because sometimes there could be too many uh, zombies and they will actually end up eating it <laughs> before it blows up. So we got a shovel, lets you dig up a plant to make room for another plant, this is very useful. So I guess we'll get a shovel, shovel tutorial from our good old neighbor Dave, if I recall his name correctly. I haven't watched this game in a while. Crazy Dave, yep. Uh, but you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I got a surprise for you, but first I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use a shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence! So you just grab it, click on the item you want to get rid of you don't get anything from it so you gotta you can't really like use it that much you don't get anything back your your son that you spent but sometimes it's nice if you accidentally place something in the wrong spot oh goody now for the surprise we're going bowling here take this walnut why did I put a walnut in your hand because I'm crazy now go bowl me a winner so in this mini game we have walnuts and we have to hit the zombies. The the uh, conehead zombies have two health, two hit points, and then the regular zombies have one. And these are uh, exploding walnuts. So when they hit, they explode. So I'm gonna try to save that one as long as I can until I get like in trouble. Um, So yeah, this song has changed. Um, I like this song, dude. I like all the songs. I gotta stop accidentally right-clicking. Oh yeah, I hit three that time. Okay, so it does hit all the ones around it. Oh, I couldn't quite remember if it did or not. You get plenty of these towards the end, so. No biggie that I. Might as well use it now, right? There's more up here. Yeah. Huge wave! Maybe I should save one more. Unless it gives me another one, which would be really nice. Yes, it does. Okay, so just here and here. And we get one of my favorite uh, cards in the game, or items, I guess. I don't know. The Potato Mine. Um, explodes on contact, but it takes time to arm itself. Um, 
and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that in the next level.